So clearly, um, it is good for patients um, and their caregivers that um, most agents in myeloma in the induction now almost produce 100% response rate. So if you, if you compare three drugs versus four drugs versus five drugs, the margin of benefit that you can go up in terms of response rates is very, very limited. Number two, the progression-free survival is so good for patients with myeloma now that again, to show a difference, a large number of patients are needed and um, it, a long term of follow-up is needed, long interval of follow-up is needed. So it, from both of those aspects, uh, MRD becomes a surrogate that we can utilize. But then it, when you use a surrogate endpoint, they always have, have, have a caveat where can be situations when the surrogate does not behave as you want, want it to behave. So you could have an MRD improvement, but without a sustained benefit in terms of time. Ultimately, what we give our patients in terms of myeloma is time. Uh, time off of uh, relapse and time uh, in remission is the most important and most valuable item for those patients. And it is important to keep in mind that MRD is a surrogate in a head-to-head -head comparison between two drugs or in a head-to-head -head comparison between two regimens. Uh, the MRD readout is usually going to track with the um, other Im important readout to the patient. So I think MRD is here to stay again, and MRD is a key signal. 